lining up as they started last week. The opening bounce, and the game is away. Steins get a, a decent run at it. Can't get clear. Big pack is quick to perform. McGuinness going over the top. And again, we'll have another bounce. Stephen Lawrence is in the pocket with Greg Deer. But Gates is in the back pocket. He finished on the wing for Melbourne last week. He's picking up Platten. Stretches on the wing for Melbourne. Simon Eichold playing in the middle. Picks himself up and tries to go again. Obst gets a hurried kick. Only as far as McGuinness. The tackle by Lyon was a beauty. The Hawks are there in numbers, however. Anderson pumps one down towards half forward. Taken in defence by Graham Yates. Swings it out wide. Howard is there. Hugging the boundary line. Longer to Phoebe. Gives a little ground and then goes over the wing for the Demons. Over the head of Eichel, but Healy is there and he'll send the Demons into attack. Down towards Bennett. He's been their key player. Dipping in front and able to take the mark was Collins. Still a chance for the Deeds. Pressure on Jeky. Across to Tuck. The veteran. Switch the hand pass wide to Langford and Hawthorne out of trouble. <laughs> Clever kick. Beautiful kick under the circumstances. Chris Langford. A couple of uncharacteristic mistakes. One by Collins who dropped that easy chess mark. O'Dwyer. Ops. Morrissey in there. It's Anderson. He gets a high kick up towards Brereton. Sandwiched out of it, however. Brenda claim and claim strongly by Brereton. Back on the ground once again. Brereton applies the tackle. It's a good one. A little bit of feeling there, as you can see there, the fellows, Eichel, and also McGuinness having a wrestle on the ground. Brereton goes on with the job. Short to Whitman. Stabs at the half forward. Out in front of Pritchard and Lawrence. Lawrence tries to tap back. Will straight to Phoebe. Will soccer off the ground. Wide to the wing. Lyon leading Jenky. Good work by Jenky. Gets into his own man. The ball breaks free. Eichel sweeps it down towards half forward. Chris Mew under great pressure. The tackling by both sides as expected. Fierce into the middle. McGuinness. Lawrence under pressure. The Hawks setting something up here for Kennedy. Not to be. Love it. Phoebe's on his own. To half forward, Healy again. Greg Healy right out on the half forward line towards centre half forward. Collins again the chance to mark this one on his chest. Has a bounce. Oh, they're overdoing the handball. Hawthorne is John Kennedy, the Whitman who is covered. Oh, some strong work. Collins coming through the centre. The half forward. Over the deck of Hall. Off the ground by McGuinness. He's Dunstall. Campbell Hutley pressing him. Great play, Dunstall. Oh, the good play by the full forward. Round the corner he goes. Rode all over the bounce. And Rode taps it through from behind. The Campbell was caught five metres behind Dunstall on occasion. Last week he was playing him man to man. Campbell brings it back into play. Towards Grinter. The halfback, Rod Grinter, swings to the wing. His target is lying. He gets a nasty bounce. Jenkins gets a good one. Goes inside. Deer. Takes it from Whitman and pumps it high. The poorly directed Grinter dropped back across that halfback line. Marks and steps in towards Newport. Couldn't take it. Howard gets the hand pass away. Now a chance for Ops. Here comes Bennett. Within Langford. Cooper gets it out to Pritchard. The Hawks out of trouble and could look dangerous. Ball could go to Lawrence. He does. Still outside 50. He's got Dunstall on a lead. Well, again, Campbell caught a long way off Dunstall. And the way they moved that down from their half-back line, Hawthorne, it was very good play. They set up, got loose men. It was an easy chip across to Dunstall. From just inside 50, Dunstall set shot, drifts across the face. Paul waiting down in front, hits the post. So another...
the behind with the hooks. Good, good play that by Tony Hall to rogue the packs after the kick from Dunstall. Very, very high ball. He got underneath it. That's why it didn't make the distance. Campbell to the half back line. Steins in front. Deer tries to budge Hawthorne. Roved it beautifully. Pritchard. Oh, well done. Darren Pritchard, the short one's on again. A dangerous short pass. He should have gone long. Here's Greg Deer. Hand pass wide. He's looking for Anderson. It's six for him. Anderson hooks it back at the goals. Platten and Yates. And Yates wins out again. Pritchard. Pritchard not too good. He's just getting to his feet now. He ran into John Howard or other way around. Graham Yates has twice beaten Platten in one-on-one -on -one duels. They've obviously got Platten down there for goal-kicking uh, power in that forward pocket. The kick to the half-back line, Deer, oh, he looks in good form early, Greg Deer. Lovely mark, centres the ball, the lead is on, Dunstall. But a great mark by Campbell, he played on stupidly. Hall, oh, Platten, Platten doesn't steady, kicks wildly, that's bad play by the little Rover. He had all day to line that up and put it through. Well, that might be an indication of the pressure that is out there because players are forced to make uncharacteristic mistakes in pressure games. Just two points on the board for Hawthorne. The Demons yet to score. Phoebe sends them down towards the wing. Lyon and Jenke. Jenke started in very positive fashion. He's claimed this time as Cooper. But the free kick is going against Jenke. He'll be taken by Lyon. Long and low in towards half forward. O'Dwyer tries to tap over the back. Out the back door goes tucked to Cooper. Good smother, however, sees the ball over the line. Stephen Tingay, number 15. Played well last week. A great smother by the youngster. Big day for him, playing in his first final. O'Dwyer in front. Healy looked for the free kick. Eventually slung it out the back. Is that a push in the back? No, says the umpires. Lyon goes to ground. Langford has it smothered. It was by stretch. Still in there fighting. Jenky, a hurried kick. Pritchard. Appears to be okay. He's got a nest of hawks there. Picks out McGuinness. Goes towards Barrett. One down. He's too big. Peter Road is opposite number. Barrett looking for Dunster. It's against Jokes on that occasion. You see that. The umpire will come in and with a free kick to Dunster. Gates charging Dunster. His eye off the ball. Jason Dunstall getting as much of the ball early as Brian Taylor did yesterday. Dunstall's kick. Another behind. So both key forwards starting in similar fashion. Hawthorne moved to three behinds. John Northey's on the phone. His team are yet to score. Well, a great start by Hawthorne, although they should be further in front. Oh, this could be a free kick. It is. A kick off by Grigger and over the line without being touched. Morrissey will take the penalty from 60 metres. Brereton's back, the short one is on to half four. This is Tony Hall, uncontested. Poor play, Melbourne. Yes, they're not manning up as they did last week, Melbourne. Hawthorne able to get away on a number of occasions. Well, very strong overhead, the former South Australian. Can he post a goal from directly in front? 45 metres, oh, he's got right underneath this one. It's floating, will it float in? No. Wrong side of the post there, dominating the play. Hawthorne, but they're not putting the score on the board. Four straight behinds, Melbourne yet to score. Campbell again. Goes to the outer side with a long kick. Plenty of flyers flipped over the back. Deer will be first to this. The big man started very well. Across to Mew. From a standing start, pumps it to the 50 metre line. They let it bounce. Newport takes it away. Melbourne out of trouble to Phoebe. Wanted to go on with it. Good work by Cooper. Kennedy couldn't take it cleanly. And it was excellent work by Paul Cooper. The Hawks come away with it through Whitman from Kennedy down to Platten. Oh. He started somewhat nervously. Anderson does very well. Flicks it on to Lawrence. The big man goes round his body. Brereton kept out of it. But the umpire lets play go on. Yates from the back pocket. 
The Melbourne defence under tremendous pressure. Archon gives it away to Lovett, and he sends the Demons forward. Brett Lovett, a wobbly kick, a bad kick to the half-forward line, and Gary Lyon was covered. He, he didn't drop that truly onto his boot, Peter. As soon as it made contact, it didn't uh, go down as it should have for a good drop pump pass. And down the other end a moment ago, Dunstall did not come out and compete with Campbell, didn't back it up, which could have proved costly. It's tapped towards Eichold, tapped straight to the line and over. So that'll be a throw in in front of the Melbourne Members Pavilion, a vocal Melbourne Mel Members Pavilion. Simon Eichold was a very good player last week. That was Glenn Lovett, who was the interchange. Probably itching to get on. It's tapped on by Tingay to Eichold. Healy to Jackson. He's brought the ground. Look at the tackling. Lyon trying to pick it up. Grabbed off the ball. Oh, they're going in hard after it. That could have been a free kick to Hawthorne in the back, I feel. Yeah, straight into the middle of the back. Free kick to Tuck. Or is it Jackie? It's Tuck in that back pocket. And it's all Hawthorne at the moment. They're looking good. They're desperate. And uh, Melbourne will have to stem this early onslaught, although they're just not scoring goals. The Hawks, Tuck. The centre wing, Brereton at the back. In front was O'Dwyer. Look at the pressure on in the packs. They try to crunch it out, and the umpire will come in and bounce Rowan Saws. The other thing we've got to consider, Peter, too, the temperature. It is 20 degrees down here in Melbourne, and the guys would not be used to this. So whether they can maintain the pressure, the pace, and everything that is showing in this initial part of the game for the whole game remains to be seen. Platten. A short kick to Morris. Under pressure. A good mark taken by Rowan. to half four. Deer at the back. Too much height but couldn't take it. Lion on to Healy from 50 metres looking for Bennett. Got a hand to it but that was all. Socket off the ground. The race is on. Phoebe. Pritchard. Collins. Pritchard does well. Gets clear. Looks for Hall. Finds him. Still outside 50. Now Dunstall. Drifts into the pocket. Campbell again. Chances his arm. No, that second block is over the line, so that's not a mark, and that shouldn't have been a mark on this side of the ground either. I think this will be a throw in. It is. Well, it's right, and the umpire was wrong on this side, but the second bite was over the line. Here's the throw in. Lawrence got front spot, flattened through, but under pressure. Another throw in. The beauty of that play is that now Campbell has tightened up on Dunstall and has beat him the last twi the twice the ball has come down in the last couple of minutes. So they've had plenty of chances on that forward line. The Hawks says Lawrence against Steins. They all look at the pressure. Healy, Melbourne captain to the half-back line. It hits the ground. Whitman, they're roving well, the Hawks. Whitman hooks it back. In fact, he's played. No, he's touched up the boot, smothered. So it'll be a throw in at half forward. But they're going in a lot harder than what they did last week, Hawthorne. They certainly did in the last quarter when they came at Melbourne, but Melbourne jumped them early. Steins against Lawrence. Got some good ruck power there today, Hawthorne. Of course, they'd want to have. They've got a contest against Steins and O'Dwyer. That's a free kick to Steins. Bad play by the, the youngster, Lawrence. He, he was caught out of position. Well done by Steins. He's on half back at the moment. They're yet to score, Melbourne. Hawthorne on four behinds. A short one is to Newport, who's picking up Anderson again. Newport transfers play. Morrissey. And Yates. Yates has dropped it. Morrissey's got the pace. He's got one minute. He's got Hall loose. Will he give it to him? Yes, he will. Tony Hall dominating proceedings. The left foot pass to Platten, and that's vintage Hawthorne, that. Just the mistake by Yates. Dropping that mark on centre wing. And Johnny Platten. Will kick from 45 metres, 45 degree angle. They need a goal because they've had all the play. Platten kicks, will it come back? It's close. I think it sticks in for goal. Yes. The Hawks, one goal four, lead Melbourne yet to score. Well, we've waited a long time for that first goal, to be precise, nearly 14 and a half minutes into this first quarter and coming from. Platten threw a mistake by Yates on centre wing. Dropped an easy chest mark. And Hall got it across to Platten. And a good goal. 
the Hawks by 10 points and they bring it out of the middle through Anderson again down towards Lawrence at half forward Grinder does well gets the hand pass away and through Rowe kick it back towards the wing McGuinness eyes only for the ball Just forward of centre, he goes to a congested half forward line. Where at the back? Dunstall in front. There was a pitch. Yeah, Steins did well, put himself in front on that occasion. So Steins is able to run. There's no one on the mark. He comes to the members' wing once again. O'Dwyer in front. McGuinness an effective spoil. Jackson tried to get it out and eventually did so. Stretches kick towards line. Picks it up with skill. Jenky almost claims it. Bennett, back to line, pushed down in front. A tackle too high. It'll come back. And Stephen Tingo has a chance to answer that Clayton goal. He'll be kicking from just on 50. Good looking kick. Just away to the left. But it does open Melbourne's scoring account, and they trail by nine points. Well, it's taken Melbourne a long time to score. There's Earl Spalding on interchange. Langford's done well so far on Bennett in the one-on-one -on -one contest. He's harassing Bennett, playing a lot closer than what he did last week. Langford from the half-back line, a push-out against McGuinness. The umpire saw that. It'll be stretched. It was a very long kick. Should be able to land it up towards Bennett. Bennett, Langford takes front position. Bennett gets it front. Thump down by Langford. Over to Cooper, who's doing well. Oh, wide is Phoebe. Phoebe on his own. On the left foot, hooks it back, but Collins tips back to take the mark, and they're wasting it, Melbourne. He's doing well, Collins, in that position. Well, he's a state back pocket player. There's Tony Hall, very strong overhead. He's got backup support, too. Hand pass. Comes out to Whitman. That was from Pritchard. Towards half foot. Oh, they're playing well, the Hawks. Lawrence, Brereton, they've got the loose man, they're up and running. Platten takes front position, Dunstall, Platten's got it, well rowed. In he goes after it, he's got backup support too. Now it's Campbell doing well, Brereton, oh, free kick, Brereton, no! Not paid. Dunstall, the quick kick, Morrissey, thump the ground, Whitman gets a poor bounce, it's all Melbourne. Pressing his way through for Melbourne is John Howard. The half forward is Lyon. On the left foot, he'll look for Bennett. The lead is on. But, oh, Hawthorne supreme in defence as New takes a good mark. Chris New comes wide to Kennedy. It'll sit nicely for him. Got players streaming down the ground. Puts it out in front of McGuinness. Can he get there in time? Puts the handball out in front. Langford's down behind play too. He's holding his jaw after a tackle from Hobbs. just forward of the centre. Goes into half forward. All Melbourne. Good mark taken by two. Behind play at Langford dropping back. This kick drifts over the centre. O'Dwyer trying to do the work from behind. Lyon waiting down in front. Anderson can't get it cleanly out but was held. Dean Anderson. Pumps it long. Plenty of Melbourne players there. Comes down to Pritchard. But he's claimed. Iso does well to love it. Melbourne forward again. Down towards Tingay. Forced onto the left boot. He floats it high. In towards half forward. Healy sucks up the ground. Here's the first goal to Bennett. Hawthorne by three points when they really dominated the quarter. They should be further in front. Deer taps at the ground. Brereton passes his way through, but it was a free kick to Greg Deer. He was caught high. 
They've wasted at Hawthorne this quarter so far. Dear. The full forward. Dunstall shoved out of it. It goes to ground. Is a chance for the Hawks over the back. That's a free kick to Melbourne holding the man. They're doing well in defence, Melbourne. He's doing well, love it. There was a great tackle before. He followed up, got the ball himself and delivered it further down the ground. Brett Lovett to the half-back line. McGuinness sets himself at the back, punches it. Platten and Cooper. Cooper doing well. Hooks it up in front of goal. Brereton, couple to beat. Road. Oh, Brereton in after him. A good tackle. Right and right there. It was good play by Dermot Brereton. we about to take place by Peter Carey. 20 metres meters out from the Hawks' goal. And he looks pretty fired up today, Dermot. At the moment, Dunstall just struggling a bit up there against Campbell. We've got to get it a bit more open for him. Oh, it's tapped out. This is dangerous. Oh, he tried to soccer. It was Anderson. He couldn't do so. Play on calls the up by, and we find the ball has rushed through for a behind of the Hawks. Now, Spalding's warming up on the boundary line. Are they going to make a move and bring him up onto their forward line, Melbourne? Well, just under six minutes of play left in the first quarter, and only two goals have been scored. The Hawks lead by four points. Here's Collins and McGuinness. Deer did the roving. On to McGuinness, should go inside to looking for Whitman. Oh, Whitman just lost the run of it. Hand pass to Morrissey. Here's a goal coming up, I think, for the Hawks. Paul Cooper directly in front. Oh, shocking kick by the back pocket player. He's put it through from behind. Hawthorne are wasteful up for it. One goal, six to 1-1. One, one. Could be costly. Well, it could be an indication of the pressure, Peter. There was no one near him for well, 25 metres. Well, that's always metres. why you make a mistake under pressure. Steins takes the kick out and floats it high into the middle. Eichold waits at the back, gives it to Newport. Melbourne forward again. Tingay caught behind. Went into the back. Play called on. Jenky taps defensively to Kennedy. Flying off to McGuinness. Langford has fired it down. And casually puts it out wide towards Morrison. Throw it on somewhere. again straight to Deer however can't control it but does get it to Kennedy switches inside to Mew goes on the left foot at the back is Hall Brenda claims it Pritchard the leading Phoebe flicks it high inside 50 towards Barrett he's got Hall and he's got Dunstan Ignores both. Hall drops back in the square. Oh, he's going to be free kick. Well, really, on that occasion, Howard, who committed that free kick, had no alternative but to come in like that. It was bad marking to allow Hall to run free. And you see there, Howard, Hall only eyes for the ball. As we see him lining up, Melbourne make a change, Don. Yes, yeah, so Dwight coming off, spalling on and going to centre half forward. Tony Hall, the gimme goal directly in front, and he doesn't let Hawthorne down. Hall's first and Hawthorne second. Eight scoring shots at goal, but they've only kicked two. Yes, well, it's Rod Grinder's man, Tony Hall, but what worries me about Melbourne is the fact that they're allowing their Hawthorne opponents, especially on the forward line, to run free. Now, Tony Hall playing on the half-forward flank was let go by Grinder on that occasion. And they'll just have to tighten up Melbourne defenders. Steve O'Dwyer having a spell on the bench, Earl Sporting on, but Hawthorne just playing the football as far as aggression at the ball and that running game. Also, Langford's starting to run, isn't he, Peter, from the full-back position. It gives him another option when he's running down the ground. Now, he's come way out between the half-forward and the centre line. And so, Ben has really got to come up the ground to put pressure on. And they're getting a big lift out of Deer in, in the centre. It's made a huge difference to the Hawks. There's Gary Lyle Whitman looking for Platten. He's chasing Yates. He's got him. Down the ground. Hawks have got it again. Kennedy... Or at half forward. But good work was done by Pritchard to get it to him. They're looking dangerous, Hawthorne. Dunstall's there. Lower, oh, bad kick. What a shocking kick by John Kennedy. 
He should have kicked that long. But the interesting thing, it was Mew who he was looking for. Now Mew playing down on Spalding. So he's prepared to run Mew. Here is Spalding now. Mew has caught up the ground, so he didn't need to go up the ground then, actually. Now it's rebounded to Spalding. Spalding the half forward line. Tuck in front and Tingay. Look at the experience. Michael Tuck. And he steadies the game down. Doesn't hurry his kick as he kicks the centre wing. Mew is there. Was it a push out? No. Could have been. This is Collins playing well. Collins inside. Whitman, the two lookalikes combining. Lawrence taps it down. Who'll receive? Oh, strong tackle, but it was too high on road. Road's free kick at half back. He goes out wide. Pritchard spoils from behind. Phoebe could have been held. Deer slung off him. Back to Pritchard again. Wobbles towards half forward and clean bowls them all. The umpire's gone down behind play, but he's okay. Love its kick over the centre. Lion, the champion player, floating it for Bennett. Also off the ball to allow Lion to get away. Good shepherd by Eichel, just gave him that little bit of a break by the shepherd from Eichel. Lion spotted Bennett. First time Bennett's got away from Langford this afternoon. He's kicked 82 so far this season from 45. It's a good looking drop punt, but it's drifted across the face and another behind. So the Demons move to one goal, two. They trail Hawthorne, two goals, six. It's 50th point for the year. Darren Bennett, a little bit of trivia. And he is a great kick, and uh, so that's surprising when he's kicked 50. There's Mew, Kennedy, and Lyon. Lyon did it well. Oh, Collins went in hard. Jackson. Oh, good tackle on Lyon. Platten's in there for the Hawks. And uh, they kicked the Hawks under holding the ball against Eichold. No attempt, Peter Carey said. John Platten receiving in half back. He's calling for players to move. Brereton. And Road. Brereton tries to tap it. Oh, they've got the loose man now. Pritchard. Under Anderson, Dunstall, the leader's on. Oh, he couldn't take one of his miraculous marks. Here's Campbell. Anderson runs him down. Tony Hall playing that great game. Marks at half forward. He's beating Grinder, Don. Oh, he's got to tighten up, Grinder. I mentioned that earlier. Well, there's a loose man there in Darren Pritchard, and he marks. Danger here for Melbourne. 45 seconds of play left in the first quarter as it's kicked to the pocket. Oh, Dunstall, he's not too fit as he hobbles after that. Turns on the right foot. Centres it, he's looking for Morris, he's got two to beat. It's a Melbourne mark though, and it's Andrew Ox. Actually, it's good play by Dunstall to centre that ball. But it didn't come off. Ox goes short to Yates. Got a little bit of room. Elects to go short. Stretch well spoiled. Oh, Fine well, defensive work. I thought, well, covered, so why would you try and pick him out with a pass like that? It would have been better in that case for Yates to go long. But I think they're all covered, actually, so he would have been better off going long, Don. On centre wing, close to siren time. Anderson threads his way through the traffic. Gives it to Cooper. And as Lawrence gets a high kick down to half four, there is the siren. It's quarter time here at the MCG. Hawthorne lead. 2-6, 18. Melbourne a 1-2, 8. Gentlemen, 10 points is the margin. As we go into the second quarter, Hawthorne leading. Ox is roving. Steins a long charge at the ball. Up against Deer, who did well in the first turn. Newport gets a hurried kick down towards the half-forward line. Collins applies the pressure. Jenke takes the hand pass. And sends them out of trouble. Down to centre wing. Tony Hall quickly on to Pritchard. Back to Hall and he's caught. Well claimed by Spalding from behind. Now Lovett close to the boundary line. Howard can't get through heavy traffic. Spalding floats it high over the top and Howard sees it over the line. Well, there's a couple of uh, changes. Ox is now roving and also Lovett is now picking up Tony Hall. Brent has gone on to Morrissey. Melbourne have it slightly in their attacking zone. It's with Pritchard. Now Deer ridden into the ground. And free kick. Greg Deer from the half back line has made a big difference to this Hawthorne side. Lawrence has it thumped the ground. Brett Lovett. Oh, well done, Chris Mew. 
on the left foot up the side out wide is Hall who's had a great day gets a bad bounce this is Howard a left footer but he elects the hand pass to Eichold loose man is Lyon Jenky hotly pressing him but the mark is taken that's a great contest Lyon centre wing Newport unmarked Getting, half forward. He's got the job on Anderson, getting away from Anderson then, Stephen Newport. Oh, he's looking for Bennett, Langford at the back, tapped the ground, he's the dangerous Jackson. Kicks it, goal taken by Tuck, and there's loose hawks everywhere. Tuck to Pritchard, having a good day Pritchard, or oh, dangerous hand pass, New, Kennedy, how often have they combined? Andrew Collins, now he might be able to run away from Steins here, he's got uh, Anderson loose, no, he elect now he elects the chip pass. That's an intelligent play by the back pocket. Very good football. Dean Anderson. To half forward. Tony Hall sets himself. Hunts the ground. Steve Lawrence over the top. Berrigan. An open goal. That's goal. Can he trap it? Oh, he's caught. Holding the ball. Jason Dunstall having a terrible day. But he was set up for the hand. Well, you've got to compliment the Melbourne defenders because it looked like a lay down was there when Burton got that handball across to Dunstall. A certain goal for Hawthorne, but credit to Melbourne. Road. The half back and Steins. No one on the mark, so he gains a few metres and goes low in towards the centre. Obst couldn't trap it at the first attempt, but then pushed it forward. Newport pulled off the ball. The advantage paid, Healy's away. Bennett can't get free. Jackson. Eichel. Claimed by Whitman. Langford. Under pressure. Tinga. Eludes one. Gets caught on the second tackle. Tuck. A hurried kick. Over the head of Kennedy. Back to Obst. He's inside 50. Obst kick is high. In towards the square. No mark taken by Mew, but a desperate attempt. Free kick to Mew. So what a great tackle by Whitman over there on Tingay earlier. That was terrific stuff by They're Hawthorne. very fired up, Hawthorne. Different Chris Hawthorne team to last week. Mew on the last line of defence. Just goes short and finds Kennedy. Still tucked in the back pocket. He's tagging Andrew Ops too. In towards the centre, Barrett looked for the free kick. It's totally ignored. Yates wide towards Lyon on the boundary line. Forced to flick it round his body. And a free kick. We'll see the Demons have a shot at goal. Barrett and Mintingo. Mintingo turning his back. Pushing the back. A set shot at goal from 45, playing in his first final. Very high, and flicked over the line defensively by Deer from behind. Sandy, they're definitely not kicking the ball as long to the left-hand end. Uh, we noticed in the first quarter a few of the Hawthorne shots. One of Dunstall's in particular dropped short. So Hawthorne, just a slight breeze advantage. Kennedy, the Jenke, they're creating a lot of loose men. Here they go again. New. And they've got Collins if he can get it to him. Oh, it sets it up for him. He's got to wait. Oh, it's a bad pass. Oh, oh no. I don't believe that. No, I thought it was a good effort by Spalding to get there. I didn't think that was a free kick either, Doc. Spalding, we have to do something. Good time. Waits back. Howard. Tackled by Platt. Anderson. Brilliant play. Oh, bad hand pass. Steins. And a very flat kick for Melbourne for a trip coming back to Jackson. Do you for a man to play Hawthorne his hand? And it's certainly not capitalised, or should be a mile in front. Jackson at the half forward line. Langford sets himself. Thumps at the ground. Cooper, desperate. Playing a great game. Smothered off the boot. Langford soccers it. Straight to Steins. Tuck. Out in front. Can't mark. Keeps the ball in. 
pressure on at half forward for Melbourne. Bounce. See, there's a copybook lesson for you. Play in front, like Tux played over 400 games, as we all know. He's 37, he's giving a younger fellow nearly 20 years, and he's playing in front and beating him. There's no difference, is there, when you play football or how you play? Get in front. Bennett tried to get it down to Jackson. Lion, how it bounce? New on the last line. His kick is wide. It's going to be touch and go for the boundary line. In fact, bounce back in. Favors Healy. Step short, finds line. So that was good play then by Healy. In this situation, a lot of players would have gone long. But he spotted line, showed great composure. A little bit of by play behind as Healy gets that between Phoebe and Pritchard, two Tasmanians. Gary Lyon. This to make the margin three points. From 45 metres. And that too has drifted across the face for another behind. So they're kicking by both sides in front of goal. But uh, just a bit maybe of a, a few breeze. tricks being played up that end. A little right? breeze down that end, left to right. I think there's Langford. Kicks all. Look at the long kick. Kennedy over the back. And it's a mark. Now, hang on. How's that going to pay back? Well, the umpire was in two minds. He didn't know which way to go. He was paid it. He indicated Hawthorne way. And then realised his mistake and gave it to Melbourne. Well, actually, it was McGuinness against uh, Steins. He paid for Steins. So, Jimmy Steins from the centre of the ground. Looking for the short one. Bennett over the back. Collins playing a great game. Andrew Collins out wide. Tony Hall. Oh, is he a great overhead mark, Don? Exceptional, Peter. He is just, what a great effort by Tony Hall to come back from that. Well, one of the worst knee injuries, so he ran very close to the man. Very, very close. Tries to keep it back in, and eventually it's forced over the line. Half forward for Melbourne. There's a lot of pressure out there. It's an uncharacteristic mistake by Hall. Eight points, the margin favouring Hawthorne. Spalding had front spot. Eichel goes underground with a helmetless Healy. Onto the chest of Tuck. Michael Tuck looks for Mew. Chris Mew's running today. That is great to see him running down the ground. Again, creating another option. Langford's doing it, Mew's doing it. He puts Hawthorne towards Brereton territory. At the back is Hall. Well, he just saved his skin on that occasion. Has a shot at goal. Pokes it wide in the diving mark. Sees the ball go over the line, or will it be the mark pipe? He played the mark. Played the mark to Ken. Deer from behind. Eichold taps further on. Platten had it momentarily. Healy now. Over the top for Eichold. Melbourne surge forward. But Collins has proven to be very reliable. Cut one high from Earl Spaulding. The advantage is paid for Hawthorne. Chris Mew pumps them down to half forward. Brereton's the target. And he finds him. Hall drops back in the square, but Dermot is directly in front. And will be shooting from 45 metres. This would be a really handy goal at this stage of the match. They need a bit of a break, the Hawks. They've had all the play, Sandy. Their lead at the moment is eight points. Their lead is now 14. Barrington gets his first and Hawthorne's third. 3-6 to 1-4. Well, I mentioned about Tuck earlier playing in front. And Brereton on that occasion is playing in front. Now, the high ball came from Mew. The advantage being played. It was a go for Collins. Collins over to Tuck. Tuck to Mew. And there in front was Brereton. And a good kick for goal. His first and Hawthorne's third. Interesting move too. Paul Deere on the ground. Lawrence into the ruck. Greg Deere off. And Paul Deere to half forward. So they've got some good options Hawthorne today. Quick hand pass. Comes to Howitt. Howitt to the half forward line. Mew on. Oh, good mark, Spalding. They need a goal, Melbourne, here. 
now. He's looking for Bennett. Oh, look at this. Tuck's having a picnic. He was 20 yards in front of Tingo. Well, he is having a picnic, Michael Tuck. Look, he's over that celebration of breaking uh, Kevin Bartlett's record and settling down the football. Centre wing, Brereton flies. Paul, tremendous play by Hilda Whitman. Whitman about. Now he looks for Dunstan. It's a poor kick. Campbell drops it. That's sucking off the ground. It's all Hawthorne. Will it sit for Morrissey? Uh, no. Beats him over the line. It'll be a throw in. But all Melbourne would have to lift at the moment, Don. Yes, the break's just not going their way. The ball bouncing Hawthorne's way at this stage. But then again, you've got to make it bounce your way. And credit to Hawthorne, they are doing it now. This time last week, the ball was going Melbourne's way on a lot of occasions. They're in front at quarter time. They're down at the moment by 14 points. Phoebe's kick towards the wing. Mew in front of Spalding. Gee, what a difference he's made to this Hawthorne side, Sandy, since he came yeah. back. The whole side's lifted. Coach Alan Jean spending time with him down on the peninsula. Getting him right. Paul Deer in front. Slaps it round the corner and gains probably 25 metres. Very good crowd in attendance today. Ideal conditions. This is what September's all about in Melbourne. Paul Deer tries to get round Steins. And in the process did a bit of a legal hold. Spaulding's calling for it. And he takes a fine mark. Socks down, he runs away from Chris Mew. Goes to half forward, a big pack of players. Tingay waiting at the back, but they're quick to rip onto him. Tuck cleverly towards the boundary line. Does it well, doesn't he, Tuck? What about the tackle by John Kennedy just before that, Don? See, they're fired up. Under 13 minutes remaining in this second quarter, but still no side able to break clearly away. Yates from 55, short for Bennett. One grab. Stretch. Goals. That's the one the D's wanted. 2-4 plays the Hawks, 3-6. Yes, good play. It all started that boundary line. It was eye shoulders, got it out from over the back. He got it across to Yates. And Yates spotting Bennett. Bennett just too quick at that time, couldn't contain it. And then Stretch running onto it just so well. Thought he might have been in a little bit of trouble then, but gee, that was good play by Stretch and a great kick. Eight points only the margin. Stretch. Half forward for Hawthorne. Brerin and cleverly looking for Lawrence. Lawrence on the left foot trying to chip it around the corner. He's got a couple of options and he's found Morrissey. Morrissey to Dun oh. Oh, Dunstall. He's having a shot. It is not his day. No, two weeks, Peter. Well, he doesn't look fit. He's not running hard at the ball like he normally does. And I just wonder whether he is not 100% fit. There's Deer and Steins. And again, a freak against Deer. A little bit stiff on that one. And he can't believe it. Neither can I. Steins. The half-back line. He's doing well. Howard. John Howard. Left foot up. The short one is on. Newport. Melbourne lifting. Stephen Newport to the half forward line. Bennett's come out against Langford. Langford in front. Taps at the ground. Chance for Melbourne. The head goes down. Tuck holding the net. Ball is this on field? Yes. Well, I thought he might have been ridden into the ground then too. I think he ducked the head down. That's what gave it away, Don. And uh, Michael Tuck. What's uh, Tuck? He'll grab the jumper. There's Bennett pushing it on. Yes, he did. You're right, Peter. Well, this is Michael Tuck. The short one is on Morrissey. No one on him. Plays on. Kicks long. They need Dunstall firing. Out he comes. Down the ground it goes. Chance for Hawthorne. Hall and Platten. Dunstall on the left foot. Brereton. And his opponent. And there is Britta. No 50 on him, I think. Britta is not thinking that back pick. Brenda comes wide, across the face of goal to Howard. 
to the wing. On a fine mark taken by Phoebe, running with the flight of the ball. Lucky not to be 50. A little bit of frustration there from Pritchard. Stephen Phoebe to half forward. The sun creating a few problems for players in that position. Tuck again. Mr. Reliable. Hall has had a wonderful he's, game. He was off. off. He was off. Call to play on now. Floats it into the centre. He's doing well. He's picking up Jackson, but coming way up on centre wing. Collins kick. Looking for Brereton. Paul Deere and Platten are both there as well. And Morrissey. But it beats Platten over the line. So it makes a difference when Dunstan's not firing. The amount of play they've had on their forward line, Hawthorne, and he's well covered by Tony Campbell. Full marks. It could be two weeks in a row. He's a good beat him. There's uh, Eichold losing it. Well, they eventually keeps it in, actually, and it'll be a bounce at half forward. 3-6 plays 2-4. They haven't got away, the Hawks. Melbourne hanging in there. Eight points. Glenn Lovett warming up to Steins. Oh, cleverly. Phoebe. Oh, it's on the floor, was it? Over the line, no, off the hands. And Stephen Tingay coming off for Melbourne. Well, he's been well beaten, Stephen Tingay. Played well last time. We saw the Batucks being well on top. Steins dominating the hitouts. Brett Lovett to the half forward line. New and Spaulding. Kennedy's there also. Tapped down by New as good football. Goes back and gets it. Or very slow to get rid of it, Chris Mew. Which way will it bounce? It might favour Morrissey. Oh, cleverly tried to tap it back. Is that in the back? The guy said no. Hand pass. Stretch. To the half forward line. Langford getting away from Bennett. Will it sit for him? Yes, it does. No, he can't control it as he taps it over the line. Just over eight minutes remaining in the second quarter. Now, Melbourne have made another change. Lovett is now going back onto Morris. He's covering Grinder's man. Now, Grinder, not really... I think Grinder's now going to the forward line. Glenn Lovett is coming on. He's going on to Hall. Really? And a fine mark taken by Osho. That's a good mark by Osho. Grinder having a conversation with Peter Carey back in the centre of the ground as Eichel's lining up. This Melbourne's third. And this Don to make the margin just two points. But he's astray, away to the right. 2-5 plays 3-6. Things just not going Melbourne's way. Eichel, three goals last week from the centre. It's a good effort. Both sides have had chances. At the moment neither able to really capitalise. McGuinness gives a not-so-subtle push. Now, Grinder looks as if he's playing on the wing. Stretch. Melbourne inside 50. Bennett in front, but they crowd over the top. Spalding in front of the pack. Wow. Out of bounds on the field. Genki brings it back into Tuck. Still in the back pocket. Well, they'd dearly love to do it, the Hawks, for Michael Tuck. Playing in... Good mark. That was a great mark by McGuinness. And the Hawks go on, down towards the half-forward line. Dunstall couldn't take it on the half-volley. Taken away wide, towards the wing by Yates. Kennedy leads. Does well to keep it in play. Off to Pritchard. Pulls it back, centering it. Floating it towards half forward. Clean bowls Campbell and Dunstall. Steins under pressure. Gets boot the ball. Healy. Ducks his head. Gets away with it as he finds Newport. On to Brett Lovett. Melbourne out of trouble. Towards Lyon and Jenke. Stretch at the back. Steady. Shoots and goes. The D's come fighting back. And that was good play. Healy is unlucky to get a free, not to get a free kick. Got it across to Lovett. And Lovett spotted Lyon. And Lyon caught. The ball went over the top. And here it is. Now Lyon on the lead. Props. Look how he props. Gets Jiggy out of position. The ball continues on their stretch. 
really does get ridden into the ground after he gets rid of that ball. Fourth on by a point. In the centre again, Platten charges in after Paul Deere. Whitman tapped the ground. Nice shoulder to the half forward line. Andrew Collins has been great. Tapped along the tuck. Hall's limping. Tucker Hurley kick is not. That is not 50. Actually, I made a mistake. It's not Hall limping. It is Lawrence back in the centre who is limping. Hall four. 50 metres given away against Hall. Very ticky touch with off top. But it'll go to Phoebe. Eichold also not too good in the centre of the ground. Let's have a look. Let's have a look for the 50. Oh, come off it. Is that worth 50? Phoebe from 40 metres directly in front. Hooks. And I think he's missed. Scores a level. Still costly, Peter. Well, I, wouldn't, I can't believe Melbourne are with Hawthorne, to be quite honest, with five minutes to go in the second quarter. A good effort by Melbourne to come back because Hawthorne were right on top. I'm just trying to work out what they've done. They've got Tim Gay off the ground. They've brought Brenner up. I think he's playing half forward, but I don't know what Tuck's doing or who Tuck's man is. There he is, Tuck in screen now. Well, it's tapped on by Tuck. Platt puts on the tackle. Eichel smothered off his boot. Grinter. Clever hand pass. Look at the tackle. Strong tackle. As players charging up now. There's been one by stand of three here, I think. Hawthorne's way. Right, holding the ball. Uh, I thought a moment well, probably could have got around the neck. Maybe it was Newport. Well, it's Platten's kick. And they've put plenty of uh, pressure on in the clinches. Platten will go wide. Collins playing a magnificent game. They'll look for Pritchard. Pritchard runs to the flank. Caught behind. Taps at the ground, Kennedy in hard. Oh, so did Phoebe. And up by Peter Carey with bats. Now, Quinter has gone down to the forward pocket, and Lawrence is going off. Lawrence injured himself, Deers back on. And Will have it be Paul Deere who will contest the ruck work with Steins, who won it. Paul Deere at the bottom, does well to farm it out, but straight to heel. Phoebe, threw it away. Yes, I agree with you, Sandy. I thought that was a free kick. Throwing it away, as you call it. So a bounce on centre wing. Just under four minutes remaining. Steins, with a height advantage, flicks it away. So too does Cooper. Healy is there, claimed by Morrison. Tony Hall, a chance to set it up. Anderson running into goal. Swings it back. Is it coming back enough? No. Gee, he had Dunstall, you know, in the centre, leading towards the centre of the ground from that square, and didn't even look his eyes and look around because he could have put that around, uh, Dean Anderson, on that occasion to Dunstall. Campbell to the outer side. Love it. This is Dwayne Lovett. Under pressure. Row. Poor kick. But does make distance. Down to centre wing. Eichel, Jenky, Whitman, all in. Let's find out more about Stephen Lawrence. Michael Roberts, any news? Stephen received a, a nasty kick to the uh, right shin. He's having ice on it now and should be okay. Deer and Spalding leaning into his back. Whitman, a hurried kick. Down towards half forward. Was looking for Morrissey. It's with him now. The freak as he's known goes over the top to McGuinness. Back to Platten. Twists out of trouble. Goes with the left foot long. Paul Deere, slips catch. Great mark, a great mark. Plays on for Brereton. It's a great passage of play, wasn't it? Firstly, it was Paul Deere, that diving mark. Had enough presence of mind to get up and spot Brereton. Now, to by bringing that ball back into the centre, he has really opened up the face of goal. Has kicked one to date. That was earlier in this quarter. This to make the margin seven points for the Hawks. Drop punt is on its way. And he snuck it home. Two goals to Barrington. 4 7. Plays Melbourne's 3 6. Well, we've already mentioned about the number of times that Hawthorne have handled the ball. It would be far in excess of that of Melbourne. 
but they're just not capitalising on the scoreboard. They've broken away to a seven-point lead through Paul Deere. That was a great mark and also a good pass across to Brereton. The Hawks by seven. Centre bounce, very, very important. Steins to half forward. New and Spalding and Chris New. What a great contest. New on top. To half forward. Hall at the back. Flies in the centre of the back. Little Platten. Brilliant play. Goes wide. Pritchard. Where's Dunstall? Dunstall ducks back. Down to the pocket. Can't get there. Terrific mark by Newport. He kept his eye on the ball, didn't he? Pressure mark. Dunstall, I thought, was going to get there. Newport. Centre wing, McGuinness sets himself, tries to punch it, so does Steins. Greg Deere has been a good player. Swings onto the left foot, then the long hand pass. John Kennedy, will he go for the short one? He will. Oh, Dunstall well covered by Campbell, and the option is not there. They should be kicking off. You know what the thing is with uh, Campbell? He is as quick as what Dunstall is over the first couple of yards, and there's not too many players in the league as quick as what Dunstall is. Steins, Platten. John Kennedy, Obst, well done Andrew Obst, to centre wing, Chris Mew sets himself for the mark, Spalding, Ray Spalding. Jenke waits at the back and the loose ball rolls over the line, 46 seconds left in this second quarter at the MCG, a titanic struggle, Who, which the one side's going to give in that third quarter for sure. Throw in, Deer, down towards Whitman, bundled out of it. So too is line. Path opens for Eichel. That love one in the closing seconds. Bennett edged out by Langford. Well done, Langford. Goes long from fullback. Just 10 seconds remaining. And Earl Spaulding will have to get a wriggle on if they're going to score. He does. Goes onto the left foot. Melbourne want to mark. Bennett's the only one that can do it. He can't. He takes it. So, an absorbing first half sees the margin only 7.36 to 4.7. Stephen Stretch has two goals for Melbourne. Jason Dunstall still yet to open his account. Michael Tuck has been very busy. Dermot Brereton kicked two in that term. Steve O'Dwyer leaves the bench. And the veteran leads the Hawks off at half-time. Sees his seat side leading, but only just. 4.7, 31. To Melbourne, 3-6, 24. The Hawks ahead by seven points. Melbourne kicking to the right. Steins to do the ruck work, but up a fraction early. Whitman gets a hurried kick down towards the half forward line. Stretch flies, but without it. Brereton claimed by Stretch. Well tackled as he goes to ground. The ball breaks free. Obst is at the bottom and will have a bounce. Good performance by Andrew Obst playing in his first AFL final. And he was roving today, being tagged by John Kennedy. Steins and Deer almost underneath the ball. Stretch. A high kick but gathering little distance. Whitman flicks it away. Morrissey gets caught but somehow gets the ball out to McGuinness. On towards Brereton. Body over it. McGuinness flicks it out. Newport away. The advantage is paid. It was a demon free kick. He kicks towards the centre wing area. Deer can't take it at the one grab. Jackson will be too quick. Goes back. Mew soccer's off the ground. Ox gets it out. Lyon goes short to half forward. And the Demons have it just outside 50 with their skipper. Healy, centering it, in towards Bennett. Yes. No, said the umpire. Play on. Play on he does. Phoebe can't take it. Hall works hard. Pritchard, a hurried left foot kick over the centre once again. Road and Brereton, again having another good struggle. Stretch, too much pace, gets clear of Brereton. Goes down towards the half forward line. Tuck and Lyon. Michael Tuck sees it over the line. And Phoebe's in trouble back on the edge of the square. There he is, number 21. Yes, hobbling over there to the action. Stephen Phoebe, the Tasmanian deer against Spalding. 
Deer gets the tap down. Or strong tackle on line by Tuck, and the umpire says holding the ball. Well, what a good get a tackle. To get rid of it. No, it was pretty sudden death. Let's have a look like, oh, he ducked his head. There's a free kick initially for around the neck. Well, it was pretty sudden death, I must agree. But Michael Tuck, he's having a great day. He's at half back. He's looking for an option. He kicks it to the centre of the ground. Now, Paul Deere contesting. McGuinness is there also. Quick hand pass. Oh, grabbing the loose balls. Whitman, danger for Melbourne. A wobbly kick. Dunstall. Oh, trapped it beautifully, the full forward, hooked back at goal, and he's offline. And through for behind. He's yet to score a goal today, Jason Dunstall, but that'll give him a bit of confidence. The Hawks lead by eight. Now, former Premier, John Kane, looking on with interest as Steve Newport swings it towards centre wing over the head of Stretch. McGuinness first to recover. Tingay meets him, but McGuinness keeps going. Does well to get it out. Tuck's kick is high. Platten giving away plenty of height. Eichol does the roving work. Goes long and low towards the Demons. 50 metre line. Pushing the back. And in front of the Melbourne members area, Ricky Jackson. And McGuinness in trouble behind play. He got a heavy knock to the head. You can see there Barry Gavin, the physiotherapist with John Howard. Kick is a poor one. Off the side of the boot and out of bounds on the foot. Michael Tuck again. Comes to half back. Steins up, but in front of him was his teammate, Earl Spaulding. Langford keeping an eye on Bennett. We'll have to keep an eye on him here. He gets away and he marks in front. Don't the full fours love that back position, Peter. They can use their bodies, and Bennett used it on that occasion. He had the absolute sip then, as you, you watch can see this. here. Look, he yeah. just nudges Langford out to show the arm up into the back. This for his second. He kicked one in the first term. And he's got his second. <laughs> Melbourne fight back. 4-6. They trail by only two points. Hawthorne 4-8. He's got a classical kicking style for goal, Bennett. Now here's the mark. Nudging Langford out. Now watch the kick. Taught in step, straight knee. It is classical. A great start for the quarter by the Demons. That'll lift them to go down, well, twice. And they scored a goal out of one of their attacks. The Hawks lead by two points. Steins against Greg Deere. Ball out of the centre, most important. Deer gets it down. Eichel was there. Oh, it's tapped on the road. Steins has got the height, but oh, it's tapped out. Straight the Gary line. Line the short button. Bennett and Langford. Bennett. Oh, beautiful lead. And a great pass from Gary line. And so that'll do his confidence good now, Bennett. What a chance for Melbourne. Look at the lead. Beautiful lead, great pass. He'll get the distance, no right. question of accuracy. Well, a chance to put the Demons four points in front. Darren Bennett. Oh, I think he might have hooked it. Yes, a bad miss, and as you said earlier, Don, he's kicked a lot of points this year. Is that 51? 51 That's points. Right, Peter. Last week, he also kicked five points. John Kennedy about to bring the ball back into play. Hawthorne lead by a solitary point. Kicks it to half back. Greg Deere in front of Stein. Stumped the ground. Then it's stumped by New, but it's all Melbourne. Stretch. Will he go long or short? He's going long. He'll look for Bennett. That's intelligent. Langford sets himself in front. Can't take the mark. Probably should have punched. Chance for Melbourne. Tuck was grabbed, but he didn't have it. Up by calls. Play on. Tingay. Almost brought down by Tuck. It's up in front of goal. Pressure on the Hawks. It's stopped away. It's all oh, could have been almost out of the ball. Ricky Jackson, but it's a high tackle. And it will be the Hawthorne, and it will go down in that last line of defence to Dean Anderson. What's happening here? 50 metres. 
did not see what for, but he's maybe if Bennett was uh, didn't get onto the mark. Well, he's going to kick over the centre now towards half forward. Brereton can't take it. Hall to Platten. Threads his way through the traffic. Tumbles it high. Going back is Dunstall. Doesn't get a favourable bounce. Morrissey tries to storm through. Paul Deere down there also. Campbell sacks off the leg. Off the leg. And out of bounds on the full. So a little bit of relief for Melbourne. Lux of fortune. Campbell to Styles. Big Jim looks for Lyon. Beautifully through the wing. Centres it. A poor kick tuck on the half volley to Collins. Puts him under great pressure. Try and slap it on. That's a clever handball. Mew over the top. Hawthorne can mount something here. Pritchard has a look and then decides he'll have a run. Two bounces. Inside 50. He shoots him towards goal. And it sails over the top. The goal umpire's gone to ground with Peter Rowe, but it's a goal. So again, the Hawks answer the challenge. 5-8, plays 4-7. Well, it was a problem then for the Melbourne forwards. And it was Tingay who was behind Tuck on that occasion. And actually, Tingay is coming off the ground. Or is he going further up the ground? But Langford came out here, yeah, Mew was there, got it across to Pritchard and a good goal. After a great goal by Pritchard, Hawthorne by seven points, here's Brereton, he's got back up support by Hall, Hall rushing at the ball, now Brereton. Brereton taps it off, Paul Deere racing at it, goes back to get it, gets it a quick shuffling handball, Platten, love it, brought the ground, play on calls the umpire, this could be holding it, no. But uh, those Melbourne forwards, Peter, will really have to start and man up a little bit more because Hawthorne are getting a drive from their back men. Mew, Langford and also Tuck. Hammered wide by Lovett. Kept in play by Whitman, who's ripped off the ball by Spalding. Well, that should be 50, shouldn't it? No, uh, well, he didn't realise the free kick had been paid. Chris Whitman. Centering kick. Deer forced to defend. Campbell has left Langford and run down to the wing. And he's still going. Over the wing. Cooper now. Tinga. May come unstuck. Pushes forward again. And eventually it's Tuck. Gives it across to Collins. He rides the bump. Almost got caught. Pritchard a hurry kick. Tremendous pressure out there at the moment. Steins lumbers past it. Socket out of his hands. Hawthorne have the numbers. They can start something here. They run. Tony Hall onto the left foot. Love it in front. And he takes the mark. The kick to set away. Oh, Hall with courage. What a tremendous effort. In they go. Steins. Clinton. Phoebe. Greg there. Oh, this is magnificent to watch. He's hurt, Hall. And it's tapped over the line. Tony Hall is down. Oh, he's in agony. He is in agony. Oh, let's hope it's not a knee, for goodness sake. It's a free kick to Kennedy. Tony Hall still down behind the play. Kennedy to the pocket. Brereton used his body. Beautiful. Oh, but a brilliant mark. Taken by Howard. He's done well today, Howard. From the back pocket. Kicks long, Hall is up. What about the umpire in the road? Of, it was physio in the road of Spalding. Umpire paid deliberate. Tremendous courage by Hall. Ice hold marks, sport of the centre. What a final. Simon Ice looks for Bennett. He beat two on that occasion. Morrissey in front and Langford from behind. Paul is up. He's limping now out on the outer wing. Watch this. this. is a good mark by Bennett. Well, he's kicked ten in a final in Western Australia. Today, here, he has two. 
but is almost directly in front. This to make Hawthorne's lead just one point. And he's done it. Five seven plays five eight. Hawthorne leads. This is an incredible game of football. The mistakes just coming through pressure. You've really got to be here to believe what is actually going on there. One team looks like they're going to take uh, charge and the other team comes back. A great mark there by Bennett. Look at this classical kicking style. A big kick. And Melbourne's fifth. Bennett really starting the fire. He's kicked three on Langford. At the other end, Jason Dunstall yet to score a goal on Campbell. Tony Hall limping. Will get it out of the centre. Steins gets it to ground. Tapped on by Whitman was great play. Paul Deere. What can Jason Dunstall do on Campbell? He waits for it. Taps it back. Looking for Morrissey. Brett Lovett. Brought the ground. Morrissey. Well played. Dunstall. Can't get his boot to it. And Tony Campbell suffers it through for a point. It was good play by Campbell, wasn't it, in the situation? I'll say it was, Don. Two points they lead by the Hawks. Tony Campbell about to bring it back into play. Now they're being ringed the Melbourne backs by Campbell. Hawthorne. Pritchard at the back will fly. Can't take the mark. Neither can Hall. Grabbed by Phoebe. Kennedy leads in the race. He'll tap it over. No doubt about that. Experienced player and it'll be a throw in on centre wing. He's done a good job on Andrew Ops. John Kennedy played on the forward line last week. A very hard man to counter is John Kennedy. Steins and Deer. Deer with the right hand slaps it. But no one able to get it out. Collins now on the ball following Ricky Jackson. Jackson roving for Melbourne. Still on the wing. Steins, front spot. Ops, the hurry kick. Nice on. Advantage pay. Melbourne goes streaming forward. The kick is wide over and out of bounds on the floor. I wonder if we could stand two drawn games in one weekend, Pete. Newport again. Centering kick. A tap on. But straight to Langford. Floats it high. And Ryan takes the mark. Effort by Lyon. Wants to go back and kick long. And has with a talk. Down the field ball. No mark. Oh. And just beating Howard. He was onto it, wasn't he, Howard? He went like oh. a hair. But not quick enough. So a behind. And the margin is one point. Langford to Kennedy. Now, if he goes short to Greg Deer, or I don't think he'll take the risk. He's gone short, and he's found Whitman. Whitman at half-back. No one standing the mark to centre wing off. Platten's got to go against the tall guys. Scott McGuinness. Oh, Love it. Oh, cut one across the head. And Grellin's not happy. This is Glenn Lovett. And he remonstrates with the umpire. Glenn Lovett to half-forward. Greg Deer lurks at the back. Thumps at the ground. Oh, Platten. And straight under his leg, stretch the half forward. Up the ground, got dangerous Gary Lyon, and well done Andrew Collins to take it over the line. Inside 50 again for the Deeds. Hawthorne preparing to make another change. Spalding's kick is high. Kennedy oh. did well. Phoebe should have gone a little harder in that situation. Across to Tuck. The runner's a chance. There's Pritchard and doing the shepherding Langford. Now the pair combines. Morrissey's off the ground. Coming on for the Hawks is Madigan. We'll have a throw in in the Hawks' forward pocket. No side able to break clear. Out from the side. Goes well. Newport gets them out of strife. Back towards the centre. Dear. Too much height on that occasion. 
kicks long in towards Barrett. Edged out, Steins at the back, takes an easy mark. Well, some looks as if it's gone behind the clouds, and that will help the Hawthorne forwards because they were looking directly into that sun. Steins just gets his kick and a pat on the head from Barrett. Healy has it on the wing. Both sides finding it very difficult to score goals. Ricky Jackson comes into the centre. Newport can run off. And does with the left foot. Looking for Bennett. Langford and Bennett both got a touch. Tingo. Wow. And the point is the result to level the scores. Absolutely anyone's game. The pressure enormous out there. Langford. Oh, what a mistake. He's made two of those, hasn't oh, he? Going oh, short. oh, goodness me. He's gone for short kick and kicked it straight to Ricky Jackson. How costly could that be in the long run? 35 metres, Ricky Jackson. Chance to put the Demons in front by a goal. And he's done it. Hawthorne 5 9 39. Chris Langford winces. Well, all you're going to put it down to is the pressure of the game. Guys choking, you can understand the pressure. Look. Oh, he meant to go over the top of Jackson to Anderson, but it just did not carry. The Demons hit the front. Played on as Healy somehow gets out of the pack. Melbourne down the half board. Spalding tried to tap on. Langford. You can bet your life will try and kick that long. Kennedy tried to tap back inside. May come unstuck. We'll go it again. Leaves it. Madigan. But the whistle had sounded. Three kick where? Melbourne three for a trip, I think. On Healy. Got to come back to the Melbourne skipper. It's a great game of football, isn't it? Tremendous pressure. And the final in every sense of the word. No second prizes today. Free kick. Another free kick for Push. He came over the top. And frustration all of a sudden for Chris Langford. Well, you can see that Langford just not judging the ball at all. Darren Bennett. This for number four. And this to give Hawthorne something to chase. He's got it. Four goals to Bennett, but he's on five. Seven nine. Plays five nine. Well, this is three goals to Bennett in the third quarter. In actual fact, in his third quarter, he's kicked three goals, one behind. He is their only recognized forward. Jackson can also kick goals up there. But he is a vital cog in this Melbourne or in this Melbourne side. Back to the centre. We'll get it out. The Hawks badly need a goal. Melbourne with a bit of a run. Whitman's at the base of the pack trying to get it out. Two goals the margin. Hawks have been in pressure situations time and time again and got out of jail. Will they do it again today against a younger side and probably a quicker side? Deer. Oh, it's grabbed by Steins playing a great game. Spalding. Can't trap it. Tries to get it on. He does. Tinday and Mew. The youngster against the experience. Well done by Mew. A handball. McGuinness loses the run of it. High side on the left foot. An open goal. Set sail for home. Which way will it bounce? The Hawk players should run it through. They do. Well, they let it run through, in fact, and that was Langford. And there's a worried looking Alan Jeans. Now they've got Tingay playing right up the ground. Now here's the forward pocket trying to expose Tuck or get him away from the goals. Tuck. Langford long to the outer side. Looking for Deer at the back pitcher. Hall says go long. And as far as Peter Rowe. Earl Spalding hurt himself. He's back at the centre half forward position for Melbourne. Rhodes kick towards Steins. Can't take the mark, but keeps the ball in play and does well. Gives it to Lovett. 
a high kick towards the wing. Over the back, Whitman chasing. Tackle is good. Throwing the ball. He threw it over the top, so Obst has it. He bounces his way. No opposition. Then kicks low. Where's Bennett? Can't take the mark. Cooper. Hurriedly back to the middle. Kennedy. A slap out wide for Hall. He's claimed. Gets the handball across towards Deer. He leaves it. Oh, the pressure really on the Hawks now. A chance for Madigan. And now Pritchard from 50. Goes long. Kennedy's in the square. Can't take the mark. And it goes over the line for the high. John Kennedy on screen now. I think he's now playing on that half forward flank. He was picking up Andrew Ox. So we can see there Stephen Lawrence warming up. Well, the short one is on the eights. And Lawrence is warming up. Maybe they're going to give Greg Deere a rest before the last quarter. Graham Yates again a short one road not being picked up because his man Brereton was on the mark. Peter Road, centre wing. Deer in the centre of the pack sensibly taps it down, but Jackson Road beautifully and finds line. Melbourne really looking dangerous now. Spalding by himself. Gary Line to the pocket. New. Tuck at the back. New are oh, cool, calm and collected. No doubt about it, he's an experienced player. Now he should go, oh, he thought about going short to Pritchard, but it would have been dangerous. Chris Mew, a wealth of finals experience. Oh, straight towards Phoebe. Hunts down by Paul Deere, and it's over the line. We have four minutes and 45 seconds of play left in this third quarter. The Demons by 12 points. But you can never ride off the Hawks. Melbourne on top at the moment. Deere tapped down the ground. Ricky Jackson and Steins again it's tapped down players desperate this is Obst looking for Bennett can he get there oh his arm was grabbed I felt and Hawthorne get out of jail this is Jenky Ray Jenky on the left foot looking for Medic and he can run 100 yards in 10 seconds if he can keep going is that in the back up by calls play on Tony Hall's got no one to give it to oh that was clever play should go over the top he does Oh, why was he going to hand pass McGinnis? Now he goes short, and it's a shocking kick. The ball drops short. Newport dives on top of it. Look at the pressure. Oh, gee, this is terrific football. It is a it's great just game. Fantastic football, isn't it? Well, they really messed around with it. Coming off Greg Deer, giving him a spell. Stephen Lawrence on the ball, bounced half forward for Hawthorne. And a critical three and a half minutes for both sides. The Hawks would love another goal to stay in touch, and Melbourne would love a greater margin. Love it. Under pressure. Newport also but gets it away. Jackson oh. floats it into the middle. Lawrence couldn't take it, just tried to slap it on. Whitman gives a little ground to make of it. Jenky. Hawthorne inside 50. Dunstall hasn't scored to date. And still hasn't. Campbell takes it. Conscientiously I, this year. I think I'd back him from there though, Don. 12 goals, 9 he's kicked for the year. This to make the margin 18 points. And give Hawthorne a real chase in the last quarter. He's kicked it. The D's kick clear. Three goals is the margin. All the conditions now a little bit more conducive to football and the players would really be appreciating it. The shadows of the grandstand coming across the ground here as Jackson gets the ball from Lyon. After a great mark by Lyon, Jackson kicks long into the forward line and Spalding running with the flight of the ball, an easy chest mark. The 
frown on the face of Alan Jeans as he sees his side lit, losing at the moment by three straight kicks, three goals. Can they come back? Can Melbourne go on with it? They look fresher and they're younger. Stein's playing a tremendous game at the centre bounces. And up by Rowan Saws will come in and bounce. He's had 15 kicks, uh, Stein's not bad for Ruckman. Great effort. They would have to get the next goal, the Hawks. Anderson being very, very quiet. Yates. Healy. Very long. Now, will he go for the long torpedo punt? No, he's going short. No one's picked up my side. John Clayton having a terrible day. Well, he's not in a good position, is he, Eichel? Although they've remained with the ball, Melbourne. He's, a, he's on a very, very just difficult over, angle. Just over a minute of play left if he kicks this. Oh, it's close. It's a goal, I think. Four goals to margin in favour of Melbourne. Nine, ten, plays five, ten. Well, this very reminiscent of the third quarter last week. At, at half time last week, Melbourne were in front 59 to 33. They streaked away in the third quarter. 103 points they had at three quarter time. That's where the break was to Hawthorne 64. Under a minute remaining, the demon chart has gone up at the MCG. Spalding works hard but can't take the football away. Neither can McGuinness. Platten. Gee, look at Eichel under that ball. It's good to hear a crowd, Peter, isn't it? Applauding, showing an appreciation for the efforts of the guys out on the ground. Still in the centre. 24 points to mark. Stein stands like a rock. Wide of ice hold initially. Cooper gets the handball away to Anderson, who kicks over the centre. Howard gets a nice bounce. And good shepherding by Lovett. Sees him get his kick down towards the half forward line. Lyon again. This time having to do the work from behind. And it's taken over on the siren. It's three quarter time, but Melbourne supporters give their side a standing ovation. It's three quarter time. The Demons 9 10, leading Hawthorne 5 10. For the pressure, Dunstall has the helmet off. Remember, he fractured his skull in this game, in a game against Melbourne halfway through the year. So here we go, the final quarter. One team will drop out. Their season will finish in 30 minutes' time. Who will it be? Hawthorne or Melbourne? The Demons have the chance through Jackson, but he's claimed. Tuck gets a kick, but it's a Melbourne free kick. Jackson will take it just outside 50. That's not the what, what Hawthorne had won at this stage. A free kick going Melbourne's way. He spotted a loose man. Skipper Healy. He did well, Healy. He got the ball out of the centre, then it's run down for that free kick from Jackson. Hasn't kicked a goal to date, but this would give them a very pleasant cushion. Good looking kick into the square. No one able to take the mark. Waiting down in front was Jackson. Ripped off the ball. Cooper gets a hurried kick, only as far as Newport. Anderson couldn't take it cleanly. Bounces back his way. He's almost pulled off it. The umpire's putting the whistle away as Yates gets a high kick. All Hawthorne, however, and they'll get out of trouble. Kennedy on the end of the hand pass swings it up towards Brereton. Can't take the mark. Rhodes done another fine job. Lyon rips the ball away from Brereton. Goes with the left foot, and the mark taken by Jackson again outside 50. Plays on quickly. Up towards full forward. A bootless Bennett. At the back, Newport. Pulls it round his body. It's going to be close. One behind. Do you want to get his boot back quickly, Bennett? Because you need a little bit of purchase on this ground. This turf does shift on top. They've well, re-sown it over the last summer months and it really hasn't settled. Well, that kick could have been shut the gate for the Hawks. A vital kick. Langford. Oh, it dropped short. Not kicking off well, Chris Langford. Straight to I shoulder. They're full of run, Melbourne. Now, well, they go short again. Bennett's gone back one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to drop short. Langford up in front. He can't control it. He's got it, though, Langford. Hand pass. Jenky. 
around the corner. McGuinness trying to trap it. Oh, is that in the back? Yes. Isn't that amazing, Peter? I can't see the Melbourne trainer with Bennett's boot. Eichel from half forward fires it at goal. Has missed. Oh, boy. And Hawthorne under enormous pressure. Simon Eichel. 9-12, 5-10. Don't ride off the Hawks yet. We've done that time and time again, but they keep fighting. Langford to the half-back line. Madigan couldn't take the mark. Little head for the line, the Melbourne players, I would think, yes. Oh, no, he's going to pay a free kick. Oh, that was, that was not a free kick. Oh, that was too on. tough against uh, Lovett. Kennedy, Tuck. Tuck marks at half-back. They want a couple of quick goals, the Hawks. The forward line has not functioned. Dunstall's been held. Brereton's been quiet. Platten's been quiet. Morrissey hasn't been seen. So really, no wonder they've struggled. He's done well. He's done well, Hall, to recover from that bad knock. Tony Hall, the half forward. They need Brereton to take a mark, and he has. And that's what they need. They'll be set 50. I don't think so. No. And Dermot, probably too... Probably too far out, Greg Deer. Still on the bench. Now, this is Dermot Brereton from 60 metres. They need the next goal. They need it badly. He's got the torpedo. Punt, it's a thumping kick, but it's wide. And, in fact, it's a point. They haven't scored for a while. 5-11 they've moved on to. Melbourne remain 9-12. Plenty of time as Campbell brings it back to Healy. From the back pocket. Healy comes to the member's wing. Phoebe in front. Couldn't take the mark. Newport could have got a shove. Twisting, dodging, and ducking. He's going to lose that. Oh, no. well done, Ops. Ops does well. Gives it to Eichel. On to Jackson. They've got some run in their legs. Bennett on a long lead. Couldn't take it in front of the eyes. Gets caught by McGuinness. The umpire, let's play go on. Jackson soccer's away from Collins. It heads for the boundary line. And we'll have another throw in. An exciting build up then as Bennett was on a great lead. The Hawks won't give up without a mighty fight. But the D's looking good at the moment. Tingay fires across the face of goal. Out of bounds on the fourth. Should have done better on that occasion, Tingate. No pressure on at all. Missed the goals. 66 plays 41. The margin 25 points. Tuck and Lovett both up. Tingay again pulls it round with the left foot. Waiting down in front, Healy. In front of him, however, Anderson. Gets the hand pass away to Kennedy. Into the shadows of the stand. And Tony Hall takes a good mark. In opposition to Eichold, he plays on to Pritchard. Brereton, second good grab in as many minutes. He's got to try and lift them. Someone's got to lift them. And kicked by a tired-looking Dean Anderson. Straight to Steins. The centre wing, Tuck in front. Ice hold, came over the shoulder. Good decision by the umpire. Tuck again in front position. He's doing a terrific job today, the old fellow. He's their best player, Tuck. Ian Hall, centre wing. And the, oh, the Hawthorne player shoved out of it. It'll be a Hawthorne free to Paul Deere. No doubt about that. Good umpiring. Now he'll run onto that left foot. You can bet on that. Now he's looking for Dunstan. Can he get there this time? No, he can't. Dean Anderson, or is it Hall? Look, it's Hall. Goes to ground. Dunstall linked. Tapped it on. And yes, the umpire grabbed it. He was linked. And maybe Jason Dunstall can perform a miracle in this last quarter for the Hawks. He's yet to score a goal. The helmet's gone. Let's have a look at it. Well, there he is going over Dunstall, and you can see there Yates in desperation. Well, he's 20 metres out, very slight angle. He's had seven kicks for the game, and they need it badly. They'd be in with a chance if he kicks this. Dunstall stabs, and he has gone. Can they come back the Hawks? 9 12 play 6 11. Well, I wonder if he's under a doctor's instructions to get that helmet off. Because he, as I mentioned earlier, he fractured his skull earlier in the year. 
the reason he is wearing the helmet is to protect his skull. And incidentally, it was done against Melbourne when Earl Spaulding made contact with his head. Just under 19 minutes remaining. The Hawks start to close the gap. Can Melbourne answer the challenge? Tuck tries to fist out of the air, but it's Newport with a left foot. A lunging Chris Mew can't take it. Jackson breaks free, a chip over the top, a clever kick. And early, gutsy mark taken by the captain. That is finals courage. Well, you have to see that on replay to try and explain it. Now watch this. Oh, with Langford bearing down, he's run with a fly to the ball. Healy, 25 metres out. A steadier for the Demons. He gets it. A captain's goal. 10-12, play 6-11. Well, you summed it up, Sandy. A captain's goal, and that's what you're expected to do when you are captain. He's done it on a number of occasions and been cleaned up this year, Healy. But there is the reward. A great mark. And his first goal, and a badly needed one. Tremendous mark by Healy. 25 points the Demons lead by. Who'll get it out of the centre this time? Might be Melbourne again by the looks of it. Sock it off the ground. Trapped by Mew. Mew was the quick kick. Oh, good play, Spalding. Tremendous play. It's a quick kick to the centre of the ground. Obst, he hurries his kick. A one-on-one -on -one contest. That ball's hot. Good play by Jeky to get it going his way. He's got backup support from Pritchard. Round the corner, Pritchard, and good mark by Lawrence at full stretch. Lawrence onto the left foot. Oh, shocking kick. Kennedy. Well done by Spirits Kennedy. A shocking handball. They had no backup support from Whitman, though. The short kick comes from Ops. Spalding. Bennett. Oh, he's got the set. Tapped down the ground. Kicked away by Cooper. McGuinness has got three men to beat. Can he get there first? Yes, he can. To soccer it off the ground. Stretch can't control it. And over the line it goes. He doesn't look too fit, McGuinness, the way he ran after that ball then. Under 17 minutes remaining. Spalding edges out lines. Illegally, said the umpire. Umpires... Carey and Soares in charge of today's proceedings. A better kick this time from Lawrence. Towards the wing. Thrown out. And noticed. The defender was Anderson. Healy again. On to Lover. Gets caught. Shovels it to Jackson. Round his body in towards the forward pocket region. Lyon. Line ball. With him, Greg Madigan. From the throw in, straight over the line. Newport can't keep it in. Langford doesn't look too good. Is it Langford out there with hands on head? Just try and pick him up, but he's not too good. Danger here. Eichold has it in the pocket. Uh, but he puts his head skywards as he sees that ball float wide. Cooper. It's Cooper that's not too good behind play. Also, I mentioned McGuinness. He was stamping his foot before. Might be a sign of cramp. Mew brings it back into play. Good-looking kick. Steins was the only one that didn't go up. Two Hawthorne players flew. Ball's kick. Brereton couldn't take it. The opposition was rowed. An attempted soccer off the ground by Paul Deer. Ricochets over the line. That was great play by Howard too. Gee, there's a terrific contest out here by both teams. 72 plays 47. Favouring the Demons. Kennedy. Oh, cleverly done by Phoebe. He had Pritchard all set up going past. May try it again. This time Pritchard has it. Short Dunstall. Can't get there in time. Tackled high. Brereton. Pritchard. Has he pulled it back enough? 
into the square it floats. Platten's at the back, and it's Hannah defensively over the line from the home. Things just not going Hawthorne's way because normally Dunster will take that mark. I know it was a hard one. Campbell has done a great job on Dunstall. Hand pass comes out the eights. Oh, they're off and running, Melbourne. Can Chris Mew, he's got three to beat. And he might get there before them all. And cleverly taps it to the that line. Was play, Mew. That was fantastic play because if he did not get control, Melbourne were off and running. Three on one. Only 14 minutes of play left. Time running out for the Hawks. Melbourne have dominated since half time. The big thump. Halfback Mew again battling his heart out. Whitman has been quiet. He's in half forward. Oh, wobbly kick, a dangerous one. Who will it sit for? Love it. Grab by Glenn Lovett, a quick kick. The half forward. Lawrence, Kennedy. Hurry kick to the half forward line. There's Whitman, is it a mark? Yes, it is. I, I think he was waiting for the whistle, uh, Whitman. Now they want the next goal. In fact, they want the next couple very, very quickly if they'd have any chance. And I'm not going to be foolish enough to write them off. Whitman to the pocket. Brerett and they want him firing. He's been well beaten today by Road. Swooping hand passes by Howard, but they're just not the normal Hawthorne side, are they? Up forward. He's done well, Howard. Exceptional in the back pocket. Official crowd attendance, just under 75,000. A huge crowd here. Paul Deere taps it down to Platten. Quick kick by Platten to the pocket. It sits for Howard and eventually beats him over the line. 13 minutes of play left. That's fantastic, isn't it? 74,954 fans here for this elimination final. And what a contest they've seen. Steins from the back. Whitman to ground at the bottom. He eights over the top of him. Sandy, it's a pity there's got to be a loser because they put on a terrific struggle last week. And I believe that both of these sides on their performance in the last couple of weeks warrant higher positions on the league ladder. Here's the bounce. It's famous Big Jim Steins. Whitman over the top again. Was heading for the boundary line. Kept in play. That left foot snap is very, very wide. And it goes over the line. So a little more relief. They're not running those players. They're jogging into position now. Each player out on that ground, every player on the ground, is really feeling the effects of this weather. Yates from the back pocket. Still they fly, but no one able to bring it down. Collins flat as he gets his kick. Oh, how up is the fly? Couldn't complete the mark. Phoebe takes the hand pass. And Yates is down. Jenky comes storming through. Ray Jenky from 55. Dunstall! Play by Jenkins, he bursts through the centre there. That's the only way to play when you're coming off that half back line around the centre is to go long. Look at this, a quick kick now. Jinky reading it really well. Took the gamble, came out, met it on the half volley, getting away from Tingay. And Dunstall running in for an easy goal. This second. Melbourne by three goals. Can the mighty Hawks, who have been on top for so long, aiming for their eighth grand final in a row, can they pull something out of the fire? Pritchard, quick kick to the half forward line, but Brett Lovett goes back to take the mark. Paul oh, Deere off too, Peter. Brett Lovett, the half forward, it's a wobbly kick, tuck in front, off his chest. McGuinness, Mew, they've got Kennedy, and oh, what a sensational mark by Lovett. Oh, this game's got everything. He is a great player, Brett Lovett. Under pressure. Now he kicks the half forward. Greg Deere. Up down the ground. Who will it sit for? Howard. Newport. A wobbly kick. Thumped away by Jeky. The Hawthorne players swoop in on top of it. It's a loose ball at half forward for Melbourne. Tingay. Cooper. Now they're off and running. Anderson. Lawrence, oh, he's dropped the sitter, Lawrence. He's dropped the sitter. Howard, straight to Anderson. Should go over the top, Brereton. Brereton getting round under the left foot. Loses it, he's had a shocker. Steins, I saw they had a chance there, they really did. 
Lyon can't take the mark. Madigan should handball. He does. Good chance. Hawthorne trying hard. There's a free kick down the ground. It's against Lyon because he threw uh, Madigan over the boundary line. Platten, there's no one there. Now Dunstall. Oh, the big play. Couldn't take it. Melbourne through Glenn Lovett wide. And this is Greg Deere and he marks. And they're not going to lie down, Hawthorne. Stephen Newport's hurt. Over the top. Hall. The short one. Brewer. And maybe, maybe Hawthorne can do it. Who knows? We have nine minutes and 40 seconds of play left in the match. And here it is. Hall chipping the ball in. And a good lead by Brewer. And also a good kick. Brenda looks like he's going to come on for Melbourne as Burton lining up for Hawthorne's eighth goal. If he kicks this, they'll be two goals down and they've got plenty of time. They won't lie down, Hawthorne. Oh, it's a shocking kick. It's tapped the ground. Oh, sweeping in was Kennedy. Couldn't get his boot to it. They needed that kick by the Hawthorne centre. And Brenda's on the ground and Newport's off. Newport now on the phone to the coach. The Steins, they've got the loose man. Brenda on the other side. We can have a run. Goes towards the 50 metre line. Bennett couldn't mark. Langford tackled high. Bang! Caught again. Play on call. Picked up by Spalding. Hangs his head in shame. But Langford stopped waiting for the whistle from the umpire. There was no whistle. But he should never have done he's that. Hurt. He's hurt too, Langford. He's limping back. His hands on knees. Tuck. Goes to half back. Here takes it. Wants to go over the top. Got a couple of options. Platten has had a black night. Tony Hall tried his heart out. But look at the desperation of those Melbourne, Melbourne players. Oh. It's just not an easy ball to be won out there. Graham Yates picking himself up. Newport exercising, and we've got a bounce on the outer wing. Eight minutes remaining. Platten over the line. Melbourne holding on. It's just Eichold's gone to the half forward flank for Melbourne. Jeky picking him up. Out the back. Tingay. Wobbles one. Down towards half forward. New in front of Spalding. Or ducking his head was Hall. May get away with it. Does. Gives it to his skipper. Tuck. Towards the centre. Perrett tackled high. Loses it. Road. Claim. The tackling is as fierce now as it was at the start of the game. Love it. The half forward. But once again, the Hawthorne defence holding up. Cooper takes it. Short to Jenke. Hawthorne want the next goal. There's still over seven minutes remaining if they are going to. Langford's by go himself off. out here if he can come across the ground. He elects to go short. Madigan floating it high. Kennedy takes the mark. Plays on. McGuinness, they want a goal. McGuinness left foot snap. Oh, has missed. Now he came on last week, McGuinness, in the third quarter and kicked a goal from nearly the identical position the way he's going in. Now he was limping earlier with Cramp. I mean, as you can see there, trotting away, he's not too fit, so it's going to be a test of the fittest. Campbell towards Lovett. Over the line. And another throw. Pressure. Stein's positioned his body nicely. Grinda with a clever handball. Lovett towards Healing. A short little chip up towards the wing area. Some of these players are moving in slow motion, aren't they? Just the way they've gone at this today. You can hear the crowd realising the urgency. Here's the throw in again. Steins in late. Lyon. Towards Eichel. Clever tap on for Tingo. He can go over the top of it and get there, but he can't. Tremendous desperation. Sure, that Another was bounce. Good play by that Hawthorne guy because who is it on the bottom there? We just can't pick him up. It was McGuinness who got in front of Tingay because Tingay could have gone over the top. Terrific play. Half forward for Melbourne. Time running out for the Hawks. They've got five minutes and 38 seconds of play left. Too difficult, I would feel. 
Oh, it's tapped on here. They come. Hall. Clutton's got to do it. Whitman. Hooks it back. Campbell and Dunstan. Campbell taps it through. He has been well on top today. And that's why they're going to win the game, probably, Melbourne. They've controlled Brereton, Dunstall and Hawthorne haven't had any attackers. 15 points the margin. To the outer side, Kennedy a chance to put the Hawks back into attack. Platten. A little rover just chips. And Dunstall was coming out, but in front of him was Tony Hall. Under five minutes remaining. As we saw there, Grinter off and Newport back on with Morrissey warming up. Great game by Hall, Don. 15 kicks. It's his second goal if he can kick it. And this would make the margin nine points. Has he got it? He's got it. The Hawks continue the hunt. 8-15 plays 10-12. And Morrissey coming on for Hawthorne and McGuinness has gone off. We saw McGuinness limping early in the last quarter. And here it is. Maybe a little ambitious, that kick out from Campbell across the stretch, stretch fell over. Kennedy got onto it across the platen. Finishes with Hall. Nine points the margin. Andrew Collins. Oh, he's lost it. Then lays the tackle on. Tackle now on Eichel. And that could be all oh, that could have been holding the ball. No attempt to get that out. Oh, the up by thought twice about it. Just picking up Morris here, he's come on for Hall. He seems to have gone on to the half-back flank, for, uh, replacing McGuinness, I should say. Anderson, a quick kick. Oh, suck it off the ground. Newport lies on top of it. It's about all you can do in those situations, isn't it, Peter? When it's tight like this, is to just suck on the ball up, keep it moving towards goal. Three and a half minutes, Hawthorne. I've got this Alan Jeans on the bench. Oh, they're, they're not in this situation too often, Hawthorne. Greg Deer cleverly taps it over the top. Tuck. Oh, cleverly done, Michael Tuck. Pops one in the head. Melbourne towards the line. Phoebe. Spalding. Bennett and Langford. It's in the Bennett. set. No, he hasn't marked it. Play on. Morrissey. Hawthorne, one last chance. Pritchard's loose. Over the top, Langford. He should give it a Pritchard. Hawthorne could get up here. They're going to score two goals in three minutes. Oh, shocking kick. Straight to Yates, who's beaten flat and pointless. And Bennett's still down, Peter. He's limping. Looks like a left ankle. Yates in the back pocket. Should never have gone wide then, Sandy. Steadies it down for Melbourne. Goes wide to the wing. A big pack of players. In the front of stretch. High left footer in towards half forward. Jenke claims the mark. They can waste no time. They want two goals smartly. Cooper back towards the centre. No free kick to Kennedy. He was asking for it. Love it comes steaming away. Beautiful looking kick in towards half forward. A beautiful kick. And Eichel takes the mark. Now we go back to about 1988-1987 when Eichel was in a preliminary final. He had a kick. It was on the other side of the ground at Waverley and he missed it. Now he's in a similar position. There's about two and a half minutes, two minutes left in this game. And he's got a chance. The difference, nine points. Well, this could just about seal it. For the Demons. Take his time. He's going to kick from around 40 metres. The clock has started ticking down again. In he comes, an important kick for the Melbourne Football Club. One behind. That was the same result at Waverley on that particular day. Still time for the Hawks, if they're good enough. Langford, beautifully straight down the middle. Tuck, leading by example. Spalding crashes Jenky to the ground. Play on is the call. Stretch, gets a hand pass away to love it. He pushes it out wide towards Lyon and Madigan. Lyon in front. Madigan the first to recover. One and a half minutes remaining and counting now. To half forward. Hawthorne need a mark. They can't take one. Socket wide. Morrissey gets caught. No one able to pick it up. Desperation. All players tied. Nearing exhaustion but still giving their all for the jumper. 
Two straight kicks, put Hawthorne in front. They have it in their attacking zone. They've got to move it quickly. Melbourne, on the other hand, must defend. Under a minute remaining. And it's going to be tough now. Still can be done. All these seconds, very important the way they're ticking down. Call it up. A bounce, half forward for Hawthorne. They need a loose ball. Have they got it? Yes, they have a goal coming up to Anderson, maybe. Oh, he's missed. Oh, he's kicked the point. That was their last dying effort. If he kicked that, they still had time. He knew it as soon as that ball left his feet, it was a point. He put his head down in disbelief. Nine points the margin. Melbourne will advance. Campbell to the outer side. Platten in front. Gets a hurried high kick. In towards the 50-metre line. Cooper takes the mark. Only seconds remaining. He centres it to half forward. Dunst to the fly. Couldn't take the mark. Ops gets a hurried kick. Only as far as Tuck wins his way through. Kicks wide to the left. It goes over the line. And there's the sound. The Dean's are through. Courageous performance by both sides, but Melbourne have triumphed. Hawthorne's magnificent finals run has come to an end. As this crowd of 74,954 stand as one and applaud both teams.